What's up guys? Welcome back to Unlimited Reads. My name is Chris and today I'm super excited to share with you all the outcome from my very first book buying tour slash book haul. I had a great time yesterday. It was just nice to jump in the car and head off on a book buying road trip. Now an opportunity like that doesn't come up very often. So when the opportunity presented itself, I seized it with both hands and did exactly that. Now I visited a few awesome bookstores yesterday. It was great. I managed to come away with a decent yet conservative haul. I knew going into it that I wouldn't find everything I was after, but I was pleased with what I found in the end. So it was a very, very enjoyable day after all. Now this book buying tour video will come in two parts. The first part will be the actual footage I captured yesterday on my tour. And the second part will be the actual book haul video itself, which will follow over the weekend. So watch out for that. But enough of me rambling, let's get on with it and I'll share the tour with you. Good morning everyone. Sorry for the audio up front, but I am recording this on my cell because as you can tell, I'm driving. I am excited to say that today I'm doing my very first book buying tour. This is going to be a video vlog. It'll take the form of a come book shopping with me kind of segment with a bit of difference rather than uh, sharing my footage of browsing one store. I'm actually going to another town today to browse about five or six different bookstores, some secondhand, some brand new, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Now, what am I on the lookout for today? So as you know, I am doing an Agatha Christie reading project this year, where I plan on reading a lot of Hercule Poirot books as part of that project. Now currently, I own about 10 Poirot books and uh, there's about 30 in total. So I need a few more. Now I do know for a fact that one of these bookstores I'm visiting today, uh, it's called That Little Bookshop. It's owned by a very good uh, operator called Wayne, who uh, has really good prices there. Now I know for a fact that he has a really good stockpile of Agatha Christie fiction there, uh, particularly in the 1980s Fontana paperbacks, which is the uh, format I'm after. He only charges $2 per book or thereabouts, so it's very, very cheap and I have every confidence that I will walk away with quite a few Perot books today, which is fantastic. Now there's another project that is coming up this year called June on the Range, which I'll be participating in where for that month you read nothing but Western fiction. Now, currently I have a few titles in the genre that um, I have already, but uh, one author for that project I really wanna focus on is Louis L'Amour. And I know for a fact that Wayne also has a really good stash of Western paperbacks as well. And I know he's got Louis L'Amour titles. More specifically, with the Louis L'Amour books, I want to get stuck into the Sackett Family Saga series, which uh, I think there's about 20 books in all there. I'm confident that he will have a few of those to take away as well. So I'm expecting a pretty damn good book haul. And once this video vlog is finished, then the second part will be the book haul itself where I'll show off what I actually find today. Other things I'm after, I have a few gaps in my Lee Child Jack Reacher collection. I think I only need about uh, five or six more titles to complete the collection, which will be very nice. And uh, I'm also doing a Jack Reacher reading project this year as well, where I'll be uh, reviewing all the books on the channel. Some standalones that I'm after, I'm on the hunt for Robert McCammon vintage paperbacks. They are super rare here in Australia and uh, they're very, very nice once you, if you can find them. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to go there. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. I may get lucky. We'll see how we go. Other books I'm after, I do need a copy of Other Land Volume 4 by Tad Williams. I need a copy of Fahrenheit 451. Uh, and basically I'm on the lookout for anything that lands in my lap as a surprise. So something that I don't expect. Uh, there will be probably another few classics that I might uh, get my hands on. Wouldn't mind a uh, couple of classics in the Penguin cloth bound editions. They're very, very nice to get hold of. But, um, you know, it, it depends what's there, but uh, certainly on the lookout for um, a lot of stuff today. But uh, as I said, I'm confident I'll be able to walk away today with uh, quite a few Westerns and Agatha Christie's, which uh, if I can come away with about 
you know, 10 of each, I'll be very, very happy. So it's going to be very, very exciting. I am about uh, 21 minutes away from Ballarat, so uh, won't be too long and I'll be uh, able to share some footage now. I, when I'm in the stores, I won't be having the mic on uh, so that there's no interference. What I'm going to do is just add in a, uh, a voiceover later on. So uh, once I get home later today, I'm going to cut everything together and uh, see how we go. But uh, yeah, it, it will be a great uh, little project and uh, super excited to do a major book haul. The first one for 2023. And what I'm most looking forward to is sharing my findings with you and uh, it's going to be great. And you'll get to see what kind of bookstores are out there. I just uh, love to share the, uh, what we have here in Australia with all my friends in the US. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it and I'm really optimistic that I'll walk away with a decent haul today. So uh, yeah, stay tuned guys. And uh, yeah, I'm nearly at my destination as I said. And uh, when I talk to you next, I'll be showing you off my potential book haul. Cheers, guys. And here we are at my first stop, the Book Bazaar, Ballarat. Quite attractive frontage. This is a store with a little bit of difference. Uh, the chap not only sells books, but he also sells watches and model cars, which is something a little bit different. But uh, we have some crime here. Now, unfortunately, I didn't end up buying anything from this store. He did, just didn't have quite what I was after, but uh, we'll do a tour anyway. The books just go on and on like a rabbit warren. Just goes on and on. And if, it, if you see all these, look at the romances here with the coloured spines. If you're into romances, you just can't go wrong. It is insane. We have some thriller fiction here. We have some Lee Child, we have Catherine Fox, a little bit of Sue Grafton. Quite a good range, and I like how he has them stacked on their sides because it makes the spines a little bit easier to read, and the die-cast cars and vehicles. Amazing collection here. We have some spy fiction. Lee Deaton, Robert Ludlum, Tom Clancy, Chris Ryan, all the greats. And back around here, a little bit of non-fiction there. Some general fiction. Just incredible. And we have some more crime here. Michael Korcher, Simon Koenig. Lots of really good authors. And we finish off with a really decent fantasy section. Okay, here we are at stop number two on the tour, Collins Booksellers, one of Australia's larger retail chains. And you can just see the window displays here and it's situated in one of Ballarat's historical buildings. It's just lovely. Lots of front glass. And nice frontage. More window displays. And some puzzles in the window here. Let's take a look. Alright, so on we go. Just in the front part of the store. They've got a lot of greeting cards. You can see a Cormac McCarthy book there. Uh, the Passenger. I'm going to be talking to you about him on the channel very shortly. So we have some general fiction here. Historical fiction. And then we move over to the classic section, which is really impressive. Look at those little gold ones there. And they've got all the leather-bound Barnes & Noble editions here, which is absolutely sensational. The Penguin Black Labels. And we move into crime. So obviously you've got your Lee Child here, John Grissom. Very, very extensive. And then fantasy and sci-fi. And then a really impressive manga section, which is really good. They've got all the major titles here. The Berserk volumes. And around the corner we've got more classics here. So you've got the, uh, the uh, red edition classics and the penguin cloth bound editions, which are very, very nice. 
and we move on over into the non-fiction section so they've got a really good travel section and uh, the arts and poetry and all that sort of thing every subject you can think of self-help all that sort of stuff uh, textbooks you just name it it is all here more greeting cards as we come back around and we're going into the kids section which is very very impressive so you've got the asterisk comics there and here we go you can see all the young adult and kids titles here and I love the, the nice touch of the fireplace in the store as well just gives it that homey feeling picture books and box sets they've got heaps of box sets up there they've got plush toys and more box sets which is absolutely incredible nice little display there the Harry Potter box sets Tintin graphic novels Harry Potter you name it they absolutely have it nice little display there of David Williams Mr. Men and more sets here games and puzzles pretty impressive section just goes on and on it's a really really big store the staff here are fantastic they're very very helpful and I did buy a few titles uh, from here as part of my book tour which I will show you later on but uh, a very very nice bookstore and I always enjoy coming here so while I was in Ballarat I had to check out the second Collins bookstore that they have in Ballarat run by different people in their local mail and this is a little bit of a smaller store but they have Funko Pops and a few other different things of interest they've got a fairly decent small manga section a lot of uh, volumes there to choose from uh, they've got DVDs and music more Funko Pops and toys really cool little section there some plushes kids books merchandise very well and we have more junior fiction there some more picture books on the wall so they're laid out very very nicely some more junior titles a bit of fantasy there more kids books and bluey and then we have their fantasy and science fiction sections which they've got all the major titles there all the Jim Butcher's Wheel of Time etc puzzles and games a fairly decent small classics collection there some reference titles and we've got some more crime here as well you know it's a little bit smaller but um, still merchandised very very well and everything's set out and easy to find very well laid out store and I brought another book from here as well which is absolutely fantastic and we've saved the best for last that little bookshop I love this store it's one of my favorite bookstores ever out the front you can see there's some boxes here with uh, some bargains to be had I do know that in one of those boxes there's some Agatha Christie books that I'll be eagerly looking at shortly very nice window display this is actually a converted house and the way that Wayne has set up the store is very very good in the fact that the aisles are quite wide nothing it doesn't have a crowded feel like some uh, secondhand bookstores have he's got everything laid out into sections very well with uh, the alphabetical letters so you can find things and there's little nooks and crannies here which are, are very fun to look through and we can see some classics there a very nice kid section as well but you can walk around easily and not have to side shuffle down the aisles which I think is very important now Wayne's a very good operator his prices are very good he is very helpful if you send him a list he can help you fill it and he also does uh, send books in the mail as well and takes payments over the phone with a credit or debit card so very good way to do business and uh, he'll bend over backwards to find books for you he not only has this stock in the store he has two shipping containers full of books off-site as well which is very very important 
and uh, he has a lot of stock in here and it's just merchandised very very well and it's not hard to find what you're looking for and if you're after something specific he will uh, always be there to help you and uh, very nice fella and uh, what did I tell you there is a very impressive Western fiction section here so there's a lot of Louis L'Amour and I can tell you that out of this store I uh, bought the bulk of my book haul so uh, we've got the old Corgi paperbacks there with the uh, vintage covers which are fantastic and uh, certainly going to help me uh, in my TBR just fantastic guys so there you go guys that is it for my book buying tour from yesterday thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it please let me know what you think of it in the comments below don't forget to watch out for the second video which is the book haul itself which will appear on the channel this weekend and I can't wait to show you what I actually bought in that book haul video I'll also be including some items that I bought recently that I hadn't shown you yet so it's going to be a pretty decent haul let me tell you and you're not going to want to miss it can't wait to share it with you guys so uh, when I speak to you in the book haul video until then I'll catch you later